Hi there and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today on the bench is my desoldering uh, station. Um, I've had this for about two or three years now, so maybe three years, maybe actually a little bit more, four years. Um, and again, I'm actually still on my first nozzle. Uh, I do use it quite a lot, uh, surprisingly. Um, and recently Jan Beta did a fantastic uh, video of how to do some modifications to this um, and the issues he found I've also found with these these are branded uh, other manufacturers uh, this is a Dura tool here in the UK uh, this is the D00672 um, it's been pretty reliable um, but <laughs> since the first day I got it the fan has buzzed at the back um, the uh, air compressor is variable on its suction um, and recently uh, it's been getting clogged up more more and more so I'm going to be make, uh, doing some modifications to this uh, desoldering uh, station and see whether we can actually improve it let's crack it open have a look inside I do have some parts here I've got a, a DC to DC buck converter and I've got a, a fan and a shroud so we're going to be doing some modifications to the back. We can also do some modifications uh, to the power supply in this. I've been meaning to do this for some time. Uh, and actually I've seen other people do the, the similar modifications. Jan Beta's video basically prompted me to say, yeah, I need to upgrade this and make this better. So um, we are going to make some changes to the fan at the back here. We're going to remove all that metal here and then put the fan shroud if I can pick it up uh, on the back here uh, and that beam will improve airflow. I am full of cold here, uh, I've got a sore throat and so forth so apologies if um, my voice crackles a little bit um, but let's get this open and have a look inside. Okay, so what we've got here uh, is the pump itself, which actually uh, creates the vacuum. Uh, we've got the power supply, which runs the iron um, uh, and the pump itself. Um, I believe so. So we have the pump here. Uh, we've got the power supply. And then here we've got uh, two resistors uh, dropping the, uh, the voltage down for the iron and for the pump. And these are the things which basically are going to be replaced by this buck, um, a DC to DC buck converter. So, because these things basically are useless at actually keeping the voltage at a, a constant uh, voltage and current. Um, so, uh, we're going to sort out the, the fan. We're going to sort out the power supply. Uh, and we might do the... Uh, modification for the phase uh, at the moment the neutral goes straight into the power supply uh, but what we can do is then basically take it to the switch and then put it into the power supply as uh, Jan Beta did so yeah let's have a go at trying to sort this right so the first stage is to actually dismantle most of this and take it out so we can actually then drill out the holes this is the most destructive part of it I'm just going to drill holes, uh, larger holes in all of these little holes uh, on the outer ring and then pull that out. Once we've done that, we can put a new fan in uh, and then we can power the fan. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, the fan comes from... Oh, it comes from the capacitive res resistor. So we can actually... Um, sorry, capacitive resistor? Um, the uh, resistor dropper there. Um, yeah, so we can probably actually power it from this as well so right okay let's take this apart Oh, 
Okay, so this is the uh, DC to DC module. It's incredibly simple. It's just two ceramic 5 watt resistors uh, basically uh, powering, um, I think it's 12 volts for all three. So we've got a connection up here which runs from that resistor and then we have two down on here. So uh, that means that this one here which I think runs to the front on here has one power supply and then we've got these two which run from the same resistor here which is the iron and the fan so uh, what would happen is when the uh, iron heats up the fan starts to slow down more yeah so but we don't need any of that that's essentially replaced by that so we've got to try and work out how to mount this as well which is going to be fun yeah that's it that is going to be fun so we're down to the bare chassis and so i'm now going to start drilling out these holes oh. Okay, so um, I've cut this out. I don't have a proper rounded file. Okay, so I've cut out the, uh, the existing holes and actually made a, a, the new one uh, where the fan is going to go. Um, I haven't got a file to actually file that down properly, but it's going to be behind between a fan and the outlet. So the outlet's uh, grill is going to go on the back there, so it's going to be safe. Okay, so I'm going to mount the fan onto the... Uh, bracket here so I think it goes that way actually uh, yeah let's let's put it on I can always change it if it's wrong cool so hopefully that will spin up nicely um, what's next so I've just uh, vacuumed up just cleared this all off of all of the, the crap um, I'm I've mounted this here. What I've done is gone ahead a little bit and I've used the existing uh, plastic box uh, to create a base and then I've then used some hot glue and also some screws into the plastic base and actually mounted the DC to DC buck converter on here. Uh, fans all there uh, and that'll go into the out on there. Um, so yeah, I'm literally just about to start reassembling. Um, it's um, yeah, I've still got the old one here. I'll just kept that one here for shits and giggles. Um, so I've got to try and work out all of the uh, the connections on this. Now uh, it should be relatively easy. Um, I think uh, if we just turn this round, this is a little bit difficult because it, there's so many cables still. So uh, I believe this one here, uh, which was on the uh, top of that. That's the input, so that comes from the power supply. So we've got uh, some of the cables there that run back into the power supply. And then we then have the output that goes to uh, the soldering iron itself, uh, which was at the bottom here. Uh, and that is the output. So it's relatively straightforward. Um, I've just got to basically sort of uh, work out which is positive, which is negative, and... Um, on that one so yeah it's actually quite a straightforward uh, modification this so what I might do is uh, I might actually um, put the input in uh, to this and then I've got to uh, adjust the voltages coming out of this or the, the, the DC to DC buck converter to get it to 12 volts I might even actually because um, 18 volts comes in here I might even feed that in actually from my bench power supply can I do it? Oh no, my bench power supply here only goes to 15. I've got to get a new bench power supply. Um, 
so yeah, uh, feed the 18 volts in and then uh, regulate it to, down to 12 volts uh, with a good enough current and take it from there. So, right, let's see what we can do to get this lot all plumbed in. Right, so it looks like the output goes partly to the motor, the uh, uh, the vacuum pump goes, and then it then goes via that and then down into that. So this is actually in series. Okay, all right. This is really quite hard, actually. Um, there's a lot of cables that seem to be everywhere. Okay, so I've got the uh, power supply back in. Uh, I've got the DC to DC buck converter plumbed in and it's powering the fan. It's also powering the motor here. So it actually powers uh, the motor, the positive goes in there, the negative goes back down to the switch on the end of this. Uh, and yeah, it works, it absolutely works. So if I uh, just power that on, and then if I do the button here, fan's actually running over there, it's not making a noise. That is much more positive than uh, the previous module. With the previous resistors, uh, it would actually start hard, uh, fast and then slowly drop down. Uh, this is absolutely brilliant. It, it actually is so positive and sounds much more uh, happier to actually be running. Uh, so, yeah, um, that's that. Let's turn it off before it... Right, so we've got a 12.05 volts. If we do the button... Look at that. That's a pretty... It's what, about 0 0.5, 0 0.7 volt drop under load? Excellent. That's really, really good. Right, I think the case of getting this back together again. Um, it seems to be working really well. Um, I've just got to watch out for that hot iron. Right, let's, uh, let's put this back together again, because it is, it is, it's working. It's great. It's lovely. Right, okay then. Okay, so um, we've done the mods. Uh, new power supply for the fan and the uh, motor for the vacuum. Uh, new fan itself, um, and yeah, we're, we're back in business. So I'm just going to put the, uh, the case back on, and let's try it out. So there we go. Uh, all the mods done. Um, with the new fan on the back and uh, yeah that's uh, working really well let's plug it in make sure it all still works let's power up and that is definitely quieter and there's a lot more uh, exhaust air exhaust going out the back here in fact you can actually feel the air being pulled in here on the on the uh, in in that side here so yeah that is definitely pulling in air and keeping everything cool nice cool yeah that makes it that's that makes a big difference <laughs> that's a lot more powerful so if I just solder some put some solder on this like that. Not great, but that's not the point. Okay. Put that on top. Yeah, that works really well. The actual motor sounds very steady. It doesn't it's not uh, moving up and down all the time like the previous uh, uh, this thing did. This 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 basically just a resistor to drop the 18 volts down to 12 um, and yeah it was far more variable in terms of its uh, uh, current and voltage I think so um, yeah that is that that sounds lovely that sounds really lovely right 
Okay, well, thanks for watching. Um, please like, share, subscribe. Um, I highly recommend going to see uh, Jan Beta's uh, version of this. Mine's, he did a much tidier job than I did, and a few other, other mods as well. Uh, but yeah, that's a, a really good um, win for my little uh, desoldering uh, station. It was only cheap. It was only about £90 or something like that, so it's just a home hobbyist one. Uh, but that's actually a very good um, uh, improvement, and it's only on when I'm actually uh, actually doing stuff. So uh, those mods aren't, are not there to be like literally this running all the time, so, um, so it, if it overheats or something like that. No, that's that's that. That's really pulling a lot more air through. So, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next video.